Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry, this is day... I guess this is the second day, it's still October 1st for me, so I'm... Uh, the new timing thing, I'm still getting used to it, so I'm a little bit later today, but... Anyway, today's farm is... Uh, Dungeon Game 174. Uh, day 2 of the October Lico Dairy Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. We'll be doing this all month, so if you're new, just come by and, you know, people talk about problems and stuff like that. Uh, it's, it'll be fun. Anyway, yeah, today's problem is the dungeon game. So let's see. So there's a princess on the bottom right corner. There's M by N rose. You start on the top left and you must fight. Okay. And if at any point you go to zero below, he dies immediately. Okay. So I think this one, I actually vaguely remember this one a little bit uh, from a long time ago. Uh, we can check when that is in a bit. I don't want to give any spoiler away. Right? But I think the the point about this is kind of just... Um, yeah, just kind of phrasing it in a way that... Because uh, I think one thing that I would say... for, And, you know, this is a way... This feels like a grid dynamic programming for... And if you gotten that far, give yourself an applause. But the problem with this one is that... Um, this one is asymmetric, right? And what I mean by asymmetric is that um, there are a lot of problems where you can go from top left to bottom right and then bottom or, or bottom right to top left um, in reversed kind of way or something like that. Um, and, in, and it's symmetric in that way because you can go both direction and you just have to do some, you know, do some math or something like that and it'll work out. Um, and it, it can lead you to be a little bit careless. Um, for this one, um, that that's not the case, I believe. Uh, where you can, it cannot be symmetric in a easy, in a direct way. You have to be really careful in in the direction and the con consequences of how you define that those directions. Um, and once you get that, I think it should be still straightforward ish dynamic programming. Um, so let's kind of get started. Let's kind of look at this problem. So you have this thing. Um, what happens if it's positive? Do you just gain health? Let's see. Oh, so you can gain health. Okay. So yeah. Um. Yeah. So where do you st what what health do you start? Do I miss it? Oh, you have to do. Hmm. So yeah. So in this one, it is. It, it is um it is important to kind of think backwards so let's let's get started on that one right um so okay so yeah let, let's just say we're at current space let's just say get min because i'm lazy about this but yeah what, what does that mean looks like right if let's just say rose is equal to length of dungeon uh, columns is equal to length of dungeon as well but you know in the other dimension um we can show that yeah okay m and n okay and then so if x is equal to uh rows minus one and y is equal to columns minus one then what does that mean right that means that what is the lowest health so what, what we want to do is define the function very well and here we want to ask or answer what is the lowest health that um, we need to enter this corner at, right? And if this is at the bottom, uh, this is our base case. And what does that look like, right? Well, the base case would be, okay, there, there are two scenarios. One is if it's positive, and then, And if it's positive, then the lowest health, that you can enter at is just one, right? So okay, so eh, I mean you can write it in a in a better way, but 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 before we make any kind of code optimization or even just make it more readable, I eh, you know it's okay to kind of be as as verbose as possible or as you need to to understand this one properly, especially 
um, you know, there are a lot of if statements is what I'm trying to say, and it's okay to kind of separate them out just as long as you get it, right? So if this is zero, then this this should return one because that means that we don't we gain health on this one, so that's okay. Otherwise, this is negative, and then we should then in this case it's negative of the value plus one, right? Because that means that, for example, if this is a negative five, then you need six health going into this one. Okay. So then now we got the base case out of the way, then now every other point will have a decision, right? So, okay. Uh, so this is the base case. I mean, like I said, you can write this in a cleaner way if you like. Um, you could do some uh, min or max or whatever, some, some funky way. It's fine. For now, oh, let's focus on solving the problem and not making the code pretty, right? So now we're at a different cell. So let's say we're at the dirty. I'm looking at example one here. Um, what does that mean, right? That means that we can go right. So, hmm. And the right, the minimum health, it's at... So this one, I'm just trying to break through the cases by talking out loud. This one, the, the when you're on the bottom right, the, the answer should... Or the minimum to enter it should be six, right? So then here... Okay. So then what does that mean? So, mm, and we can think about how to do the different paths in a second, but let's just say we get min of x, um, x and y plus 1, meaning going to the right. Going to the right, right? So this is the min, min right, say, right? Um, yeah. So what does that mean, right? That means that, hmm, so what I like to do is just break that, you know, especially for dynamic programming or memorization, a lot of these things are just brute force. So you just try to think about all the cases that can happen. Here, there, there, there are only a couple of scenarios, or like four, right? Positive, positive, negative, and so forth. Um, okay, well, maybe more if you want to count the, the thing. But okay, let's start by enumerating them so we don't confuse ourselves. So if they're both positive, uh, and it, they should be both, well, this one will always be positive because, because this is the minimum, right? So, yeah. So let's say this is 30 and this is 6. What does that mean? That means that um, if dungeon of xy, if this is greater than min right, that means that we meet the thing. And that means that coming here, we just need to be... Um, hmm. Well, let's think about this, right? So... So for example, we're going from dirty to sex. What does that mean? Uh, com coming into the dirty. What does that, that mean? Right? That means that this could actually be one and it'll be okay. So then that means that if this is uh, greater, well, at least if this is greater. What if this is sex? If this is sex, that means that if it's going in as one, um, going in as one, we, we gain sex. So then that means that uh, we can return just one, right? In this case. Whoops. Uh, roughly speaking, I mean, there are scenarios. That we we might have to rewrite this a little bit for going for a decision. Decision being going to the right and going down. But here, let's just focus on the dirty and and focus on um yeah, focus on on, on the thing. What 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 what's else right? And of course, this is assuming this is inbound. But yeah, else, what if it is? Well, what if it's equal to? I think we did the, this should be as equal to, but what if it is lower, right? For example, what if this is three? What does that mean? That means that at uh, the coming in has to add up to to the min right plus one. So that means that min right minus dungeon of x y plus one is the minimum, right? So this is our our answer, um, assuming that we on, we can only go right. Right? So, okay. So I think we're okay here. So then now we just have to, if, to add some if statements. Uh, if this is less than columns. Yeah. Then we have this thing. Um, of course, we can return yet. So, yeah. So let's just say best, we need it to be some infinity number. So let's define that. Oops. And these are just some big number, it doesn't really matter, right? So here, 
if this is possible, then best is you go to min of best and one. Uh, we also minimize this, right? And then now try and going to the down. That seems a little bit awkward phrasing, but anyway, going downwards. Um, yeah. So min down is you go to get min of x plus one y, and then uh, and this this part should be, you know, the logic should be straightforward, uh, relatively mostly because it's very similar to the other one. Um, so I'm not going to go over that unless it's wrong and I have to go forced to go over it later. But you get the idea, hopefully. Uh, unless I have a typo or something weird. And then at the way we went, and we return best. And then now we just get min of uh, zero, 0, And let's see if that's good enough. Right? Ooh. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Why would this be our bounds? Do, 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 do. Hmm. What is x and y such that this is our bounds? Uh, let, let's look at it for the first example first. Is this our bounds? Huh. I don't modify x or y, so this should just be the input. That's awkward. Hmm. Let's, let's print it out just to see. I actually would not have expected that. 1 and 90. Why is y 90? Did I... Uh... Oh, I just have a typo that this is 90. Okay, what a silly mistake. Huh, I didn't even notice that typo. I'm used to the screen being a little bit, I don't know. It's a little bit different going from the other uh, thing. But yeah, okay, so the answer is clearly wrong, but that's okay. Because then now we can just, uh, at least it didn't crash. So it's a good thing. But yeah, let's kind of see why that is. So from zero... So let's see. Uh, some from two two it should be six. So that means that from one two, from one it should be six. No, that's off by one. So maybe I do have an off by one somewhere. So basically, you need six going in. So given one, you should get five going to one two, because five going to six, right? So did I miss a? Hmm. Maybe I don't. Okay, yeah, I think I, I, I miscalculated by doing it plus one because I said you had to have an extra one. But I think I'm wrong on this one. I think I just kind of made the math weird. But yeah, okay, so now this is much better. Let's also run it for the other test case. Uh, I guess the other test case is trivially true. Um, okay, so yeah. Um, so this is okay, except for if you want to do a big case, this is going to time out. I'm not going to show that here, just because it's clearly going to time out because we branch out, right? Um, so then the idea here, of course, is that we ask ourselves for every memorization. I mean, I did it even yesterday, so same lo logic here, which is X can go from 0 to rows, Y can go from 0 to C. So knowing that, let's cache it, right? So has cache is you go to... Uh, force times mm, columns for duh, 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 for ring in range of rows. Uh, we do the same except for now we want to calculate the number. And yeah, and we all we have to do. And I, the thing that I always say is if you if you don't know how to do this an, an, uh, analysis. You know, you have to learn it. It's just necessary for whatever you are prepping for, either interviewing or, um, or you know, just having fun. Uh, you just have to do it. I mean, because if you don't, uh, you know, like if you get it correct, it's just luck, right? And you can't always rely on it and you're going to waste a lot of time debugging and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. Uh, the, and the way that we look at it is that because of these things, that means that the... Um, number of inputs and for each input we do all of one operation so that means that in terms of total time this is total time and in terms of space same thing because each one has all of one uh, 
each input takes over one space because you know we literally saw it here um that's all you need but yeah okay hmm completion streak one i thought i did it yesterday this is probably there's some buggy things going on here but that's okay um hmm 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 but yeah and as you can see i actually i've hmm, got it wrong a couple of times before but here as long as you kind of get the direction correct and kind of exp think about it in a good way this should be good um yeah but otherwise it is just it is just uh brute force with a little bit of caching um yeah um uh, i think that's all i have this is this new setup is a little bit awkward to be honest so i don't know i don't know that i want to see all this like immediately um, especially if I got, had gotten it wrong, then I'll be like, oh, last time I did it better. It colors me a little bit, even though this particular one I remember it. I don't know how I feel about this. Tell me, let me know what you think about this new, new setup. Um, yeah, I, I like to be, and I think the other thing that I like about the old setup is that I don't know how hard the problem is. So it doesn't, like, it's a, uh, it doesn't like allow me to do a meta guessing kind of thing, right? Um, but I don't know. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the new format and everything. I'll see you later. Stay good. Stay healthy. To good mental health. Um, let's do the end of let's do the rest of the month together. Is what I was gonna say. But also have a great weekend if I don't see you soon. Anyway, bye bye.